So hi guys, welcome back again to the Lock Robster, the Emily Love of LA, bringing you another vlog or should I say reaction video. Yes, this is the second one I'm doing today. As I said, uh, this slew of vlogs that I want to do to make up for the lost time. Yeah, like over a month since uh, I did my last one. So yes, yeah, so uh, this uh, particular reaction video is in honor of one of my Oshis. ML48 Princess, who is celebrating her birthday today. Yes, I know in the Philippines, uh, her birthday is June 1. Right now, it, here in uh, California, it's May 31st, Sunday. So, rather than do it tomorrow, I'd rather do it now since right now it's June 1st right over there. So I'd like to say happy birthday, Princess. Yes, uh, I'd like to add more. But uh, I like to go into the uh, video that I like to be reacting to in on our view. Yes, so she actually did this video, which is her first vlog back in March 4th. And I thought rather than reacting to it back then, I told myself I'd react it to it on her very birthday, which is June 1st. Yes. So since June 1st there, as I mentioned, in the Philippines, it's a perfect time to do it. So yeah. So uh, we're going to play it via... My cell phone right here. You do it like that. Yeah. So um, I believe you should see uh, from uh, what I watched that she's going to be answering a slew of questions. So I think by the end of this video, I'm going to do, I'm going to answer um, the same questions, at least similar questions. I mean, similar in a way because there's some questions there that doesn't, doesn't really apply to me, but I'm going to try to answer a version of that question. Yeah, just, you know, almost like, uh, in a way, uh, letting Princess know uh, what what uh, certain answers to those questions are. Okay, so hopefully, Princess, you're watching. Yeah, I'm going to make sure. <laughs> I'm going to post it, uh, leave it in the comment in, on your page. Yeah, uh, and the link to this video. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so without further ado, let's watch ML48 Princess's first vlog. She turns 20 today. Resume tight. Okay, my elbow's fried, hurting. Fried chicken and crispy pata. Tayo ba yung taba? Basta yung malutong na taba. Favorite song? Marami po eh. Like, Kata Ilog, The Fried Berries, and Conor, like, Dreams, Kata ng Fried Berries. Super favorite ko siya. Yung Kata Ikuba. What's that? Volleyball, badminton, and basketball. Pero pinaka main ko po is volleyball. Mm, hindi po, sa totoo lang, hindi po talaga ako kalabas yan ang buko. Uh, pero pag nag-aaral ako book. yun, science talaga yung favorite ko. <laughs> ano, ano science po. book. Pero pag sa mga whatpad, yun know, hindi po talaga. More on sa video, ganun, movie. Yes, like that. My favorite color, Type 2. You're probably more be more taller when you're wearing heels.
that mean? It's like, what does that mean? <laughs> That ends uh, Princess' first vlog. Yay! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so um, okay, as promised, uh, I'm going to be answering the same questions, at least similar questions, uh, the same way that uh, Princess was asked. Yeah. So this is my version of it. Okay. So uh, number one, favorite food. Yeah. Uh, I like fish. So any fried fish. Anything that's fried fish, uh, I really love. Okay, okay. So next one, fave song. Okay, recently, uh, I like. I've been liking a lot of uh, Nogizaka 46 songs. 
yeah, and uh, I think the latest one I've been liking was uh, Nandemono Aozoroka, which is uh, how many blue skies have there been? I actually did a reaction video to that. And uh, I've been going back to a lot of to my original uh, favorite J-pop group, uh, Sakura Gakuin. Yeah, they have a lot of great songs there. And uh, let's see, for American, American pop, I guess. Uh, I haven't been following him, but I really like back then the songs of Charlie Puth. Yeah. Okay, so favorite sport, that's definitely basketball. When we were kids, we used to play catch with baseball. Yeah, I know I played baseball in high school, but it wasn't really that great. Yeah, but uh, I'm more focused on basketball. Okay, fave book. Okay, favorite book would be Jane Eyre. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I already finished that, but yeah, it's still one of my favorite books. I'm more connected with not the character of Jane Eyre, but uh, the male protagonist there. Uh, what was his name? Great, and I forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, and I also like to read a lot of World War II books, especially uh, if they're kind of like uh, biograph biographical biographies Yeah, of certain uh, soldiers. If you've seen the... Um, the uh, miniseries the pacific yeah i've read a lot of uh, the books of the, of the characters that were portrayed in the pacific like uh, eugene sledge and uh, robert lucky yeah and i'm still trying to find the other books of the certain characters there who survived world war ii and published their own uh, biographies regarding their experience of world war ii so yeah uh, those are my Kind of favorite books, okay. Um, favorite color, uh, that'll be green, yeah, and sometimes red, yeah. Sometimes I'd also wear black because it's very uh, slimming, yeah. Uh, let's see, um, I believe you mentioned birthday, yeah, my birthday is December 16, yeah. My height is 5'3, yeah, so with Princess being 5'2, definitely I'm taller, but if she's wearing heels, she definitely. Uh, I'll type me. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Best pick here on Mobile Legends. I, I don't really play Mobile Legends. Yeah. Um, mm, but what game should I replace it here? I know. I like. I guess I like playing a lot of uh, games like uh, basketball games. Yeah, I like to play that uh, on video games and shooting games. Yeah. All right. Let's see here, uh, most embarrassing moment. Okay, I would say my most embarrassing moment is, if you know the Sex Bomb dancers, I used to dance a lot of their songs, yeah. And I think one time I danced to a lot of my office mates back then, and back then it didn't really hit me, but now when I look back on it, it's kind of embarrassing, yeah, for me being a guy and dancing to Sex Bomb songs, yeah. <laughs> I guess not really my proudest moment, but, you know, I really enjoyed dancing to those songs back then. But yeah, I guess a very cringe moment to me when I look back at it now. Okay, so which is better, Team L, Team M2? Okay, so uh, back then, I know that Team L had a lot of the more beautiful, more pretty girls. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, let's see, one of my, Kami Oshi. Quincy, yeah, this would be part of Team L, and Ash, one of my, one of my Oshis as well. Unfortunately, they're gone, but uh, some of my Oshis are still there, like, like Dn and uh, Grace, uh, still part of that uh, team. But I'm more kind of like, my favorite is Team M2, yeah, because uh, I guess Jan's there, Shira's there, yeah. Uh, what else am I thinking? Well, anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'm more of a team M2, yeah, uh, I lean more more to that group, uh, a particular team, yeah, okay, uh, what's this, what kind of friends do you want, <laughs> okay, it's kind of strange, the princess is semi-kind, what's that supposed to mean, <laughs> like, they're kind to you, but not that much, yeah, I guess the kind of friends I want is um, intelligent, I would say intelligent friends, that they're more, I guess, uh, they can, uh, they have a lot of information on their brain, like, uh, especially if it's regarding pop culture, 
yeah, if they have, if they know a lot of references to pop culture, especially history subjects. I mean, you could, you could, uh, I guess I, I like to freely talk to a lot of uh, people, especially I have a friend of the church. Uh, her name's Marianne, and we talk a lot, especially regarding like history subjects or some pop culture references because we share almost like the same, the same, uh, the same, uh, how to call this, the same interests. Uh, basically, and we talk like, especially when I watch something on YouTube, a certain like historical subject, and I get to talk to her about it, and she's really interested to hear it. And same way when she has something up, I'm really interested to hear uh, what her thoughts are too. So yeah, so intelligence is one of the things that I like to uh, find in a friend. Okay. So um, how to fish uh, MN loves. Okay. <laughs> well, that me. I guess uh, I, being an MN love. I guess if, uh, regarding ML48, I guess um, my suggestion is how to fish for ML loves. I mean, it would be great if they have a show, you know, if they had a TV show and there's uh, this uh, portion. Oh, uh, let me go back a little bit. Uh, Nogizaka46 has this show back then uh, called Nogi Bingo, almost like AK Bingo, but different, but they have different. Um, uh, subjects there they do one of their uh, subjects is like what they call uh, a fantasy request by fans in which fans submit their fantasy requests uh, they request a certain member to do it mm -hmm. it's almost like they're doing like uh, the point of view of the camera is from the fan and yeah so the the member will be talking straight to the camera basically talking to you so whatever your request is, fantasy-wise, I mean, it's nothing, how to call this, it's nothing, uh, it's nothing dirty about it. It's just uh, how would you like the member do the scenario for you? Like, it's almost like, what do you call a hugut line? Yeah, like that, where they say a line and it really entice you. Like, you'd go like, ah, like she said that, yeah. I'd like MNL48 to have something like that, you know, with send a request. Of course... Uh, it doesn't have to be like dirty or anything like or anything related to sex. It's just like you want the member to say the line to you. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to do an example since I'm a guy. But yeah, anything that would like en uh, entice the fan from what you say would really be drawn to you. That's why they request a certain member to do it. Yeah, so uh, Nogi Bingo did that. That's partially... Uh, that show is gone, but they also, Nogizaka still has another show uh, called uh, Nogizaka Kojichu, which is in English Nogizaka Under Construction. And they do uh, certain specials where sometimes a Christmas special, sometimes a Valentine special, where the members uh, do like theater work in which they also do like, like, like hugot lines to other members who are dressed like guys, which they call danso. So I'd like to see... Something like that, the MNL48 would do. I'm not sure how it would, uh, how it would be perceived by a Philippine audience, but you know, it really, like, those lines that members would say would really, like, ooh, <laughs> like make your heart flutter. Yeah, I like to see them do that. Okay, uh, let's see here. So regarding uh, Jun and uh, Jun and Zakura, yeah. So yeah, so I like to congratulate Princess for being part of that. Yeah, I look forward to seeing it when that MV uh, finally gets made. So uh, we can see those members who haven't been in MVs before. Princess being one of them. I And I remember Princess saying that uh, she was really like sad that she wasn't part of Igai Ni Mango. Yeah, because she, she was like... Uh, yeah, she was kind of like out of Team L because of the second general election. But then they brought her back in, but then... Uh, she got transferred to Team M2, and I guess that was her only re kind of like sad part that she wasn't part of Team L again to be part of Iga Nimango. And she would have been part of that MV. Yeah. Okay, so a message for the birthday girl. So for Princess, uh, Princess, you've been one of my top 10 Oshis, or more like top 8 when I did my first personal Senbatsu video. You haven't seen that. You are top 8. And when I kind of like redid the lineups because some members have left. You are, you rank number four, yeah. But I think you're ranked number three now since Fate 
<laughs> you stuck him at number three. She left, so I think you raised uh, yours another rank above. So basically, you're on top three. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so you're up there because I really like your personality, your character, especially when I first saw you on uh, high school. And I really like the way you play your vampire persona. Yeah. And that kind of like uh, makes you very creative. Uh, in a way uh, that kind of separates you from other members. I'm not sure what other characters uh, Maybe Joyce back then she was like the Sundari girl. You're the vampire girl and uh, Yeah, I'm not sure what other characters I could uh, do an example of but yeah, that's a very imaginative way that uh, gives you a certain character trait to Separate you from other characters from other members. Yeah, so uh, Happy 20th birthday and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope to see you make uh, another vlog vlogs to come and uh, maybe I just suggest uh, you also make your own YouTube channel since I guess management's not allowing you get girls to do your own uh, YouTube channels now because since um, activity is very sparse because of the pandemic so just a little suggestion for that so yeah I really uh, uh, like I said, uh, I really kind of like like you. <laughs> Since I mean, you wouldn't be part of uh, you wouldn't be part of my OSHA list if uh, if I uh, didn't like you in some way. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy your birthday. <laughs> enjoy. I'm not sure if you can you can do a party, anything like that. Maybe it's just for family. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it and. Uh, have uh, many more birthdays to come okay and uh, i hope you have a great day even if it's just family and uh and more success to you uh in mnl48 since i guess the first step is now you're in an mv and hopefully management recognizes you and you'll be part of more mvs and hopefully someday you'll be part of the senbatsu or maybe the undergirls <laughs> yeah so um yeah i guess that's uh, nothing more to say but uh once again uh, happy 20th birthday and i hope you get to watch this video and hope you enjoy it and uh looking forward to more of your vlogs okay so uh let's end it right here okay bye my princess <laughs>